wasn't quite ready to walk, but it, I think it will walk in a few weeks. So it's something that's actually fairly close to what will go into production and show you all, all the things it can do. Just a year ago, Tesla offered a glimpse into its plans to create a humanoid robot by showcasing a man in a robot suit. While the display was just a concept, it provided an initial glimpse into the company's vision for the future. A year later, Tesla announced that it had made significant strides and revealed two humanoid robot prototypes. Although the robots are not yet fully functional, the progress from concept to prototype in just one year is noteworthy. While Tesla's humanoid robot is still in the prototype stage, experts are already examining its potential impact on a world dominated by humans. This video sheds light on the importance of Tesla's robot, expert opinions, and how it could fare in the future. During Tesla's AI Day in September last year, the company unveiled not one, but two robots, Optimus and Bumble C. While Bumble C walked on stage in a manner that resembled tiptoeing around a sleeping baby, Tesla CEO Elon Musk claimed that the robot could do more than just walk. However, the focus of the event was on Optimus, who had the appearance of a knight, but was moved on wheels and could not walk. During its brief appearance on stage, Optimus did a dance and waved at the crowd. Musk admitted that the prototype was not as good as what they had planned to produce, but was very close. While Bumble C was not the highlight of the event, it was still an impressive feat of engineering. Tesla Optimus, the highly anticipated humanoid robot from Tesla that is yet to hit the market. According to Tesla CEO Elon Musk, the company plans to make the robot cheaper than a car, so that everyone who can afford a car can afford Optimus. However, it remains to be seen if the robot will end up being as affordable as planned. Although there is no official release date yet, Musk has stated that Optimus is designed to be an extremely capable robot and it will be able to do a lot of things. While it's unclear how many units of the robot Tesla plans to produce, it's possible that it could run into millions, if not billions. The Tesla robot, which bears some resemblance to the human body, features a design that includes a head, arms, legs, and hands. Unlike humans, its brain is situated in its torso. Additionally, the robot comes equipped with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack that provides a full day's worth of use on a single charge. That is augmented by 28 structural actuators that enable the robot to move with ease. Notably, if the robot falls, it sustains minimal damage thanks to its actuators. Six of the actuators are located in the arms, allowing for 11 degrees of freedom and effective grasping capabilities. However, the robot's range of motion in the hands is less than half of that of a human. Tesla's new robot is really a capable one. Considering it will use a fully trained AI brain, you will be surprised to know how fast it is coming into fruition. The Tesla's robot Precise Grasp allows it to handle tools such as screwdrivers with ease. The metallic tendons in its fingers enable it to grasp objects with strength, while sensors help identify what it's holding for efficient manipulation. With its tendon strength, it can hold up to a 20-pound bag with ease. However, despite its impressive grasp capabilities, experts in the field of robotics have raised concerns over the design of the robot's hands. In the words of experts, the hand design was quite basic, and the majority of time and focus of Tesla should be spent on the hand and dexterous manipulation. When it was revealed by Elon Musk, the renowned robotics experts criticized Tesla's humanoid robot, saying it is ill-prepared to interact with humans. According to one such expert, the robot's movements appear too robotic and lack the grace and subtlety of human movement. This poses a serious problem as the robot could easily break if the environment behaves differently from its expectations. Meanwhile, Tesla's director of engineering admitted that the robot is not as useful as it should be. Similarly, the Optimus prototype, which cannot walk or perform complex tasks, has been criticized for its lack of functionality. Nevertheless, enthusiasts hope that the robot will soon be able to navigate stairs and pick up boxes while performing tasks in homes and factories. According to the director of engineering at Tesla, the long-term vision for the Tesla robot includes tasks such as dishwashing and lawn mowing. However, for now, the robot is only capable of working alongside factory workers. Despite the current limitations, the Tesla team remains optimistic, stating that Optimus is pitched as a general-purpose robot, 
and I think we are very far away from a time when that will make sense. The reality is that technological limitations and lack of demand are two factors hindering the development of this type of robot. Until these challenges are addressed, Optimus may not reach its full potential. While many may see Tesla as a newcomer to the robotics industry, the company itself disagrees. Tesla sees its electric cars as essentially robots on wheels and is interested in creating robots that have human-like qualities. According to Elon Musk, the company's robotic endeavors will bring about a fundamental transformation for civilization. Speaking at a recent AI event, Musk outlined his vision for a future of abundance where robots like Optimus will change society forever. The Tesla robot is almost here, and many people are still not sure how much it will cost. According to experts in the field, the Tesla robot's expected price of $20,000 may not be as affordable as it seems due to the high cost of the hardware used in its construction. An industry insider explains that the cost of a robot is determined from the very beginning of the design phase, and starting with cheap materials is the easiest way to keep the cost down. However, Tesla failed to follow this principle in the production of Optimus. The company used two of the most expensive actuator types on the market, namely the roller screw and the harmonic drive, which are crucial in controlling the robot's motion. While the harmonic drive actuators increase torque, roller screws toggle between linear and rotational motion. Kernbaum points out that every humanoid robot typically has 28 to 32 of these expensive actuators, posing a significant cost challenge for Tesla. In recent years, the demand for robots has increased significantly, unlike a few years back, where firms showed little or no interest in producing robots due to the absence of demand and super high cost of automation. The question on many people's minds is why the sudden surge in demand for robots? The answer lies in the realization by several firms that robots can help them work faster and more accurately. This realization is especially critical now that there is a growing labor shortage. While one might argue that hiring more workers could solve the labor crunch, many firms are hesitant to do so for economic reasons. Therefore, the need for robots has become more apparent, with several firms looking to adopt robotic solutions to help with their operations. While Tesla's focus may be on humanoid robots, it is just one type of automation that is in high demand. Robots of all types are being sought after, as long as they can alleviate labor-intensive tasks. The current shortage of labor and increasing consumer demands have put pressure on factories and warehouses, creating a greater need for automation. Whether it's industrial robots, collaborative robots, advanced robots, or more traditional machines, the demand for automation has never been higher. As automation technology advances, some people worry that it will lead to widespread job losses, especially in manufacturing. This fear is not unfounded, as the automotive industry has already seen a significant reduction in human employment due to automation. Companies like General Motors, Toyota, and BMW now rely on robots to perform many tasks, from welding to assembly. However, despite the reduction in the workforce, the automotive industry continues to be a significant contributor to the economy. Automation has enabled companies to increase efficiency and productivity, ultimately driving higher profits and growth. With robots capable of performing tasks with greater speed and precision than humans, and without the need for salaries or benefits, it's no wonder why businesses are turning to automation. But is the transition to a more automated workforce inevitable? In recent years, the use of robots in factories and warehouses has become increasingly popular due to the significant advancements in technology. Tesla's Gigafactory has played a major role in showing how robots can make robots, aka Tesla cars, according to Elon Musk. This wasn't always the case, as the complexities involved in integrating robots into manufacturing processes were once a significant barrier. However, the emergence of more durable and predictable robots as well as advancements in predictive maintenance technology has made the use of robots in manufacturing much more feasible. These technological advancements have also enabled manufacturers to identify potential mechanical or electrical issues before they lead to costly failures, ultimately improving overall efficiency and reducing downtime.